Paul for the first time in what feels like forever. <laughs> we actually got to wear summer clothes on Saturday, and mm -hmm. I got a sunburn. I couldn't believe what? it. Well, couldn't believe it. In San Francisco, a sunburn. So, a good reminder that yep. sunburn does not depend on the air temperature in any way. Okay, it's okay, okay. Just okay, the enough. amount of sunshine you get, but if you're not used to seeing it, for instance, in your neighborhood. <laughs> we were shocked. Yeah, you're not used to like covering up the ears and forehead with sunscreen. No, I know. It so was... you put away the parka? Oh, it's never put away, Ryan. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> always nearby. Come on now. What am I new? Let's not be no, ridiculous. It was so, but it was. It was really, it was bizarre. Yeah. It's like, is there something wrong? It's hot. Yeah, we it's were at hot it's hot it's it's We were at Stern Grove yesterday afternoon. The sun came out for yep. about an hour, maybe hour and a half or so, yeah. and it warms up quickly mm -hmm. once it happens. And now we're going to settle into kind of a normal pattern as we head through this week. Look outside at San Jose. Areas of fog later tonight, still warm, even hot inland tomorrow. I showed you that temperature forecast earlier. Earlier. We'll fill in the rest of the map momentarily, but then close to normal temperatures, even slightly below average beginning on Wednesday. Very little change as we head into the weekend. In fact, you can see that as we look at the 10 day outlook of temperatures for Concord, one of the inland spots that tends to see a little bit more variation. And after a high temperature in the mid 90s tomorrow, we settle back down into a pattern of 80s, even inland in the East Bay. The Tri Valley and the Delta are just going to approach 90 degrees in the hottest days. And that is not bad at all as we're around the corner from the last day of July next Monday into the first few days of August. And the 8 to 14 day outlook, which takes us the first week through August, also shows a return to just normal temperatures or continuation of normal temperatures. I'll show you that 8 to 14 day outlook coming up at 530. Let's take a look at the smoke pattern, which has been heading in the right direction over the past about 48 hours or so. Less of that haze on the horizon. Some of the smoke from the flat fire has cleared out, but that might be temporary. I don't think we're going to have much of an air quality concern as we head through the day tomorrow. Any smoke produced by that fire in southwestern Oregon should avoid us. But as we head into Wednesday, that's when it looks like another batch of smoke is going to be sliding down the coast. Now, exactly how far south it goes before it gets picked up by those onshore winds and potentially sent into the Bay Area. That remains to be seen, but if it does move through, I think at worst we'd be looking at moderate air quality for all parts of the Bay Area on Wednesday, then kind of going every other day as those waves of smoke from our neighbors to the north kind of drift down towards us, but at least no orange dots on the map in the foreseeable future. Right now, seeing lots of blue skies, just a few high clouds out there. Temperatures are in the 60s around the Bay, just below 80 in Santa Rosa, excuse me, Santa, San Jose. Santa Rosa is well into the 80s, as are Livermore and Concord. But again, those are normally warm temperatures for this time of year. Some fog around the bay, but it's not going to make much of a push into the inland valleys to begin Tuesday morning. And it, where it does manage to make its way inland, it's not going to last very long. We should see clearing skies around the bay by late morning. Along the coast, you're going to have a hard time shaking that fog, not just tomorrow, but for the rest of the week. So Liz gets to enjoy the cloudy skies overhead and her neighbor once again. She obviously does not have anything to throw at me. Otherwise, I'd be dodging <laughs> stuff. Too far. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 50s by early tomorrow morning. The warmest spots in the low 60s. Let's zoom in and fill in the rest of the map for tomorrow's highs. Low to mid 60s along the coast. Mostly 80s down the peninsula. Some spots around the south end of the bay staying just below 80. Mostly 80s in the Santa Clara Valley until you get towards Morgan Hill and Gilroy, where temperatures are going to climb into the 90s. A lot of 90s inland of the East Bay, the Tri Valley and the Delta reaching well into the 90s, but staying below 100. Close to 70 in San Francisco, low to mid 70s for Oakland and the East Bay, and mostly mid to upper 80s for the North Bay until you go farther north, where temperatures are going to climb a little bit farther into the 90s. But again, even the hottest spots below 100. Temperatures back down to slightly below average levels Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then we're back to almost exactly normal late July temperatures for the last weekend in July, Saturday and Sunday, which means inland parts of the Bay Area will be warm, but not what you would call hot for this time of year, mid 80s in the North Bay and even temperatures inland in the East Bay, only hitting the upper half of the 80s along the coast. Yep, there's all your cloud cover. No sky July is going to go right into August. <laughs> That's where you'll need your park up. Mm -hmm. It's never far away. No. Gotta Keep it handy. It. Thank you. <laughs>